Hey guys, uh, I normally go through different exercise blocks, blocks being, uh, being the like the focus of exercises specifically or targeted body part for a specific uh, period of time. Now I've split box up into like kind of micro cycles as well, so, but I, wanna, I don't want to confuse you guys too much on that as of yet, but I, but I want to explain is that for about two months I focus on one body part um, specifically amongst the other exercises and <clears throat> as well doing specific exercises that target that body part for example right now uh, my major focus is on biceps and some of the exercises that I do targeting the biceps will be closed grip both uh, pronated and supinated uh, pull downs and uh, as well rows and then the ones that target the biceps themselves but my goal is to get the peak you know okay I'll show you my guns here for a sec my dog's not gonna bite me but I'm working on that peak I know you guys were like oh that's not nothing too impressive again but it's like uh, I'm, I'm making very significant gains on that and I want to explain my philosophy on how I'm doing it because my background is in exercise science, in science in general, uh, anatomy and physiology. And uh, I work as a massage therapist at the moment in like medical massage field, not just like a general masseuse that you have at a spa or anything like that. But um, to get right into it though, you start pro with pronated grip exercises, which includes like an overhang one, and then you move eventually to underground underhand ones now you might do that within a specific exercise in like the first two third set so you start with pronated and then you move to supinated say in a pull up or pull down situation or in a row situation and what this does is <clears throat> when you're in a pronated state and then you move to supinated it actually engages the biceps more it's like the flex part of a flex is within that rotation Okay, and as well, there's different points of flex on, on this angle as well. So we're gonna incorporate those two things in how to plot out a good bicep exercise. So the way I do it now is two sets per exercise, but at least four to five bicep targeting specific exercises. And those uh, not including the compound ones, which would be two on top of that. So starting with two compound movements at three sets, and then working four to five isolation movements, which are just pure bicep curls. Now, the way I'm starting it off is, is uh, like this type of grip, overhand grip curls, like this to start, and as well, hammer curls to start then eventually moving to uh, just basic concentration curls. Cable curls are a good one where it's like, <clears throat> you start from an ex uh, extended uh, shoulder position and then curl from there with cables. You get the, the really good time under tension of the, of the biceps doing that. And then moving to easy bar curls where I do drop, start doing drop sets. So I go from like 70 pounds down to like 40 pounds. And I'll rep the 70 pounds till like I got like three more in reserve. And then I switch down to the um, 40 pounds. <clears throat> While doing a rhythm like this. So it's like a few seconds down, pause, up, contract, pause and then down the eccentric portion. Until on, on the last exercises, which as I mentioned before, we start pronated, we're going supinated. On the supinated ones, then I can start um, going more intensity and uh, like to the point where I can't do any anymore. And that includes cheap reps and partial reps. So as I was saying before, you get that rhythm down which is uh, a, what I, I refer to the Renaissance periodization, kind of like Mike Isratel, 
way of doing things, but you know, it's pretty well known kind of uh, strategy, the timing of like a bodybuilding eccentric stretch, muscle tearing there, and then uh, concentric to like a full squeeze at the top. And when you're doing that supinated and you're doing that eventually to the point where you can't do that anymore on those drop sets. Now in the, the last one is the concentration curl machine that I do this on where you put all your weight on your pinky when doing it, with the pinky uh, meta, metacarpal bone right here. And then, because that's like, again, that uh, what's, what's that conveying is that you're doing a supination movement involved in those curls. And you get to the point where the end, and you, and you just do four reps. Uh, form where form is not an issue. And drop sets and partials in that fully supinate. That's that's the key that I've gotten to to the most wickedest pumps. And obviously, recently I've been uh, doing increased different steroid loads, like with Nandrolone and uh, Mastron. And I did Anavar before, but it's like the growth I'm getting again, it's like nothing crazy. Maybe to what you guys probably have, but dude, this what I'm what I'm getting in peak bicep right now. It's um, very quick improvements. Just doing this block now, as I was mentioning, starting this video for <clears throat> about now, let's say less than a month, three three weeks. So I'll leave it there, guys. What do you think about my approach? You know, should you focus on certain parts of the body every uh, every like two to three months? Focus there, grow that, and then. You know, obviously the rest of my, I'm still doing back days, so I'm still doing that push-pull split, but on my pull days, I'm gearing it now towards my biceps, uh, just focusing on, to be honest, a weak point in my body, and then still doing back stuff, still doing uh, trap exercises and things like that, and rear delts, but uh, yeah, bicep focused, growing the guns for the, for the summer, I think it's a good strategy. What do you think? Leave in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Peace.